Hey everyone, this is Rachel, your Out of Place Cajun. Today I'm going to show you how I make my crock pot chuck roast. Now I have an onion sliced up. I had some leftover slices of bell pepper and seeded jalapenos diced up. So I'm going to throw those in today as well. I don't always do that part. But we'll also need our roast, some garlic, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, some minced toasted onion, salt, pepper, and this beautiful crock pot liner. This I'm really excited to show you about. So I buy these crock pot liners because you just put it in the crock pot and then you put all of your ingredients inside of it and then you barely have to scrub the pot after. This has saved so much heartache when it involves making spaghetti and I'm really excited that I have them and can show you them. So to start, I put my crock pot liner in and then I just go ahead and put my crock pot on low. And then I'm gonna set it for like eight, nine hours because I'm gonna let it cook slow and low all day. If you have to, I put it on nine hours. If you are needing this a little quicker, put it on high. You'll just have to keep checking it to see when it's ready. So I take my nice sliced vegetables. I'm gonna put half of my, almost a little over half of my onion in the bottom. I like to give the roast a little layer of onions to sit on. And since I don't always have bell peppers, I'm just gonna put almost all of, you know what, I'm gonna just put all of the bell peppers on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put all the diced jalapenos and give that a nice little bed to rest on. So, then I take my roast. I have a chuck roast from the grocery store. And I'm just gonna open it up. And you can trim the fat off if you want. I leave it on because I think it'll help give it better flavor. Okay, now that it's in the pot, I'm gonna start with my Cajun seasoning. And again, I have the Benoit's salt free. And I just heavily sprinkle it on one side. My garlic powder, mine's a brand new bottle, so it's a little hard for it to come out right now. Some onion powder, just because. I like this toasted onion seasoning from Penzi's. I'm just actually gonna put about a tablespoon or so on the side of it. You don't need a lot of it, because we've got onion. I just like, I just love to use it. It tastes really good. A sprinkle of salt, because you need a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna add pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna flip the roast so I can get the other side seasoned good. And you can see some of the onions came up with it. Doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna use my clean hand <laughs> and I'm gonna put more garlic powder. It doesn't matter the order. Onion powder, just whatever I can grab first. My Benoit's Cajun seasoning. And you might say, Rachel, that looks like a lot of seasoning. But you know what? It's a big piece of meat. It's going to be cooking all day, my salt. You got to season it. If not, you're going to have flavorless roast. And who wants that? Some pepper. And then I'm going to attempt to open my jar of garlic, minced garlic, because we haven't added that yet. And I'm right-handed using my left hand. And I'm just going to put a couple little teaspoons of minced garlic on each side of the roast. Just like that. That's all you need. I'm going to take those last few pieces of onions I have and I'm just going to sprinkle them on the top because that's just how I do this. And then I put the lid on. And I'm sure you're saying, Rachel, you didn't add water. Guess what? That's okay. That fat on the roast is gonna help make juice in there. There's a little liquid from the garlic. It's okay. We need it. If you want, you can add a little, maybe like a quarter cup or a half cup of water, or you can add beef broth. Either one's fine. This is how I always make mine. They come out fork tender and they are juicy as can be. So we'll let this keep going for Right now it says eight hours and 56 minutes. Honestly, it's just until it's done. I'll check on it about four hours from now and maybe add a little bit more seasoning if I 
can tell it needs more, but I'm just gonna let it cook slow and low all day. And when it's done, it'll just shred with a fork. Well, the roast has been cooking about seven hours. And what I like to do at some point throughout the day is just, you know, take something that's nice and safe to use to flip it. You have to be careful not to splash yourself, but you can already see that it's starting to fall apart. This is what we want. And as promised, look at all of that juice in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this keep cooking and then when it's done, I'm gonna shred it hopefully. So I'll be back with more updates. Okay, so the roast is done and it is just falling apart. So what I like to do is just shred it and then let it soak up those good juices while it's shredded. And then I'll serve it with some sides and it'll be delicious. So I'm just gonna keep shredding it. I don't usually use this fork, it's new. Uh, usually I just use regular forks. But this is actually working really nice. It's a little hard to, to move around because it's much bigger than what I'm used to using. But that's it. I'm gonna shred it and then eat.